Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Cheat Happens Aura. If you don't know what that is, it's a cheating program for your games. It's like Wiimod, but Wiimod is really hard to install on your Steam Deck. And Cheat Happens Aura is easy to install and they made it even easier right now with a new Steam Deck tool. It's currently in beta stage, so it's free to download up until December 31st, 2023. So go get it. I'll leave a link in the description. After the beta stage, it's going to go on sale for 10 US dollars. So yeah, if you want to save the 10 US dollars, go get the beta version right now. And I'll show you how it works. So right now I'm on my Steam Deck gaming mode and here's my Steam game, Monster Hunter World. If I go into its properties, you can see under compatibility, I've got this Aura launch option, all right? It's because I've installed the Steam Deck tool from Cheat Happens Aura. Okay, so let me launch the game. So when I launch the game, this new window pops up. It's the um, Steam Deck tool. Okay, if I press the Steam button, you can see I've got three windows. The Cheat Happens Aura, that's the cheating program, the Monster Hunter World game, and the Steam Deck tool. Okay, so let me go into its game first. Okay. Yeah, let me go into the game and show you um, one of the cheats. Okay, I'm booting in. So I'm going to start a mission. And the mission has a timer for 50 minutes. Okay. And then I can pause that timer. So post a new quest. Master rank. Events. Okay, so colorful carnival. One of my favorite event quests okay let me go get let me go in hey okay. all right you can see on the right hand side you can see time left it's counting down right 49 minutes it's counting down if i go and press the steam button and then i launch the cheat happens aura window okay now i'm going to if you haven't played the game before you might want to search the game here but i've played it before so recently used monster hunter world okay i'm selecting this and then i'm going to select this one use trainer okay wait for it to load and you can see here it says game found if it can't find your game then it's not working properly all right now it's found i'm going to activate the trainer Okay, so now it's activated. So go to the bottom here. See, unlimited mission time. All right, there's a slide bar. I'll go press F. I can press F7 to toggle it, or I could use the slide bar. I'm going to use the slide bar. It's kind of easier. So unlimited mission time. Now go back to the game. You can see that the timer is stopped at 49 minutes. It's not counting down anymore. So that means that the cheat is working. All right. Okay. So that's enough of the demonstration, I think. I think you get the idea. And this also works with Epic Games Store. So I've got the Epic Games Store launcher here. And I also have it in compatibility or a launch. Okay. So let me launch Epic Games Store. It works with Uplay as well. All right. So same thing. It loads the uh, Steam Deck tool. And it loads the Cheat Happens Aura tool. Um, trainer. So it's logging in. All right, let me go to the Epic Game Store first. Okay, so I'm going to launch a game. So Dishonored. Go launch this game. Okay, it's launching. Running. Okay. Okay, so the game's. Loading. Okay, let me go back to Cheat Happens Aura. Okay, so recently used again. I've played it before here. Okay, so here it's Dishonored. And then I need to select. It's an Epic Game Store game. So Epic Games. And then I'm going to select Use Trainer again. Select your trainer. So for Epic Games. Okay, you can see here it's Game Found as well. 
just activate trainer so it's the same process i'm just showing you it works on steam games and it works on epic games it works on you play games all right so i think that's enough demonstration let me go into desktop mode and show you how to um, download this uh, tool and how to install it so i'll see you in desktop mode Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my Discord members. He's called Gerald. He's the one that tipped me about the new Aura Steam Deck tool. So thank you very much. I most likely would have missed this. So thank you for letting me know. And he's really good on my Discord server. He's actively answering questions other members might have. Sometimes I don't answer them the way I think I should because I get like ticked off. Sometimes people jump into my server and they like say, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. They don't even like say hello or anything like that. They jump in and they say, oh, watch this video. This doesn't work. You know how to fix it. They don't even say please or thanks. And, you know, when they're rude, I get like, sometimes I get pissed off and I just answer really badly. So I'm improving myself in that. I'm trying to like help uh, as much people as I can. But um, sometimes I just get ticked off. So you know, if you come into my server, just be respectful, have some manners, be polite. If you're polite, I'm also polite, right? But if you're rude, sometimes I, I you know, I just, I'm probably having a bad day. So if I replied badly in the past, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I hope I can improve on that. So yeah, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're back on my Steam Deck's desktop mode. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you, I've got a brand new channel called Grown Up Cooking. It is another passion of mine other than gaming. So I'm planning to do some cooking videos in this channel in 2024. It's a passion project. So if you guys want to support me, go over there and subscribe. It's currently got 70 subscribers. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. So go over there and support me. Thank you very much. Okay, so back to Cheat Happens Aura. This is the website. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So if they've got a brand new Steam Deck tool, so it's not required. Right, you can still use Cheat Happens Aura without this tool, but it's just um, not as easy. This is a tool that makes everything easy to install. So I'll show you how it's done. So currently it's on the beta period up until December 31st. Okay, so after that, it's going to be a $10 one-time fee. All right, so get it before the beta period is over. So click here, download beta period, continue download. And then just click this button, download beta period. All right, I already have mine here. So it's a zip file. So you can see aura sd tool.zip. Okay, so I'm just going to extract it. Extract archive here, auto detect subfolder. Okay, so it extracted to here. And then you just double click aura launcher. All right, so double click it, click execute, continue. Okay. And then just click install. So um, uh, the, it will install here, home deck downloads Aura. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. Okay, so just wait for it to download Aura and install it. Okay, so now it's done. Installation complete, starting Steam and Aura launcher in five, four, three, two, one okay so you need to log in so make sure you have an account okay make sure you have an account so let me log in okay so i think i'm logged in already so I can just close it right now. And then back onto your Steam library. You can just select your game. So let's select the game that I used in my demonstration. So Monster Hunter World. Go into its properties. Compatibility tool. And yeah, you can see you've got this Aura launch option. Just select it and you're done. So let me show you. Okay, so once it boots up. The tool boots up as well. Okay, the game is loading. And it's here. 
Okay, so don't show again. So yeah, that's just how it works. All right. So very simple. Um, let me show you how to install it onto your Epic Games Launcher, stuff like that. All right. It works with Uplay and Epic Games Launcher. So let me just stop this. Okay. All right. So go over to Epic Games and download the launcher. All right. I already have mine downloaded. It's a MSI file. So here, Epic Installer, MSI. Okay. So just go to your Steam library, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse, okay, go to downloads and select your file. I can find it. So I've got the Uplay installer here. Uh, I've got the Epic one as well. So let me find the Epic one. Um... Oh yeah, I have to, because it's MSI, so I have to select all files. Okay, here it is. Epic installer dot MSI. Double click it, add selected programs. Okay, and then on the left hand side, you can see it populated here, epic installer dot MSI. All right, and then I'm going to go to its properties, compatibility, and then I'm going to force it with just Proton Experimental, just to do the installation first. So click play. Okay, so it's going to install into C drive program files. That's fine with me. Just click install. Okay, so that's done. It's installed. All right. And then what do you do? All right, since we've already installed the Aura Steam Deck tool, you should have this shortcut on your desktop, Aura Launcher, double click it. Okay, and then click Edit Game Settings, then search for Epic. Okay, and then you see here, it already like has the, uh, the shortcut for you. So it's target. So I'm going to copy this and I go back to my Epic Launcher installer thing i'll go to its properties and on the target i'm just going to paste it here so just paste it and then on the start in i'm just going to copy this so this this is the path copy and then here on the start in i'm going to paste it okay and then in compatibility i'm going to change it back to aura launch right because i want to launch the epic games launcher with Cheat happens aura. Okay, and then we're done. So quit this, quit this, and then launch. Okay, you can see the launcher is loading. All right, so the Epic Games launcher is also loading. Installing the update, verifying. Okay. So yeah, you can see like with this Aura Steam Deck tool, it's kind of convenient. So I can understand why they're charging for it, but it's free now. So go download it. And it's a good tool to use. Like if we had a tool like this for Wiimod, it would be so good. But uh, we don't right now. Let's hope they make one. Just let it, like, the first time startup, it's like doing its thing. So let it do its thing. Launching Epic Games Launcher. Okay, so I think it's loading right now. I think we need to log in as well. Yep, we do. Okay, I'm not going to lo lo log in because when I log in, I need to go to my email, get the, uh, you know, I've got a two-step verification. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So, yeah, I think you get the picture. So, once you've set this all up, it's just going to work because uh, when you load Epic Games Launcher, um, Cheat Happens Aura loads with it, and then you select your game in the Epic Games Launcher, and once you connect the game with the Cheat Happens Aura, you can enable your cheats, okay? So yeah, I'll just leave it here. 
If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also go to my secondary channel, Growing Up Cooking. All right. So thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.